Petey obviously likes to touch what he goes over. And Petey's our deaf boy, also a peer mew. And one of the gauges is if they're able to stand on that item and their depth of perception is limited. So it's kind of nice to build in the blue tarp that appears to be water where it's harder for them to gauge it. If they can't stand like you saw him pushing through, we're looking for that resistance free um, time where he's able to respond and stand still. And if you do it too early, they barge through it. So you're looking for him to be able to stand and even back off the item to know that he's completely comfortable with it. With ease, he just takes that tarp on his back and that's really beautiful to see because PT is going off of the halter and he's reacting to Bjorn, that means he's going forward and we found something that looks pretty delightful and he's soft and he's already staying there by the knee exactly where he's supposed to be and he looks like he's having fun and so that's PT, he's in the falls in training DVD as a little, little guy, so he's four and we believe he's deaf. And so it's kind of nice to see what motivates him and how to get him engaged and teach him about people from above, as well as to follow guidance, to come off of the pressure, to show him new stimulus. And this is the round pen piece where he learns it and he's pretty much picked it up. And we don't need the ground person who is there to help with the forward motion and aid that he's just doing beautifully. He's the restarter in our program, and we've flown in Paddy from Ireland. He's our first rider, and he's got a great seat. Rebecca's just influencing the speed from the ground. Petey is deaf, so we can't bring in any kind of flucking or noise. It's all visual, stim visual stimulus, but we've got the legs on there, which are weighted down, and we do have the rider above, so he sees something from above, and he's got the motion so that we know that he's quite comfortable um, with somebody on the rear so that we could actually move forward with him. There we go. So we're letting him experience Paddy out of both eyes with that mo motion and the ears are forward. He looks very comfortable and it is the first ride in more than seven months. And so this is a good exploration without taking a major risk. Thank you. 
can feel the difference. He's very much my left and right taken. <laughs> this technique will help with Petey because he rushes through the halter and so it will teach him not to come in, be in the playful mode since he's had since he was three months old, spend the first five minutes bucking, farting, playing, kicking. And this will eliminate that behavior with the both of the handlers. Got Rebecca on the left side, that's where she's been handling him and his MO would have been to go forward and then rush her or buck, kick, play. And so Vin's job on the right hand side would be to prevent that behavior and get him into a work mode. But he comes really out of kindergarten and for I think a five year old now, four or five year old, to actually get into the mode of the work ethic and to realize that we don't come in the arena to play, but in fact we come in um, with our head head in the classroom and so this is wonderful it's actually the first time I've seen him behave in this manner and be good so he's still got the voice and the choice and we're still looking for both to be accurate on the timing and so of course you've got two people you've got to pay attention to support one another keep each other safe at all times and then teach him these obstacles which will later on go into the ground his world is a little bit different because it's a world of silence with only some tones that he hears and he's very reactive to other horses, which he'd need to be for his survival. And so this allows us to influence him and for him to gain more trust and believe in people and actually listen to the people despite what's going on around him. So we've decided to keep the handlers on either side and truly, in a way, not go to the place where PT would move forward because this is the first time we're tacking him outside in the arena so that means we're bringing in additional stimulus and additional distractions and so now we're getting to the place I know it's only the fifth day but we're asking him to stand correctly with the two handlers soft lines we're not using a chain on the nose the chain would actually have that alert response and I don't believe horses learn with the chain because it will stay in position and so there's not a release on the chain but the dually allows that release and so it doesn't get locked in place and so you've got both the handlers allowing him to move his head allowing him to look around but in the same space showing him that we would like him to stand when he gets tacked up despite the fact that we have a horse coming over here that we are expecting him to soften listen and stay with the people and not his peeps of the horses which he's used to and so this will begin to show him exactly how we expect it to look I know, they're kind of fun. <laughs> Thank you. 